gentlemen. Yeah. Quentin. Sounding good this morning. Thank you. You're very kind. Welcome, so, welcome. Hello, this. everybody. Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. And uh, we are going to continue on this little Martin Foray. trip here. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so definitely. this is, we just did the D28 mm -hmm. Custom Authentic Aged. aged. Okay. Yeah. Now, Triple O28 Custom Authentic Aged. Um, stage one aging. Mm -hmm. You can do just the, the kind of the straight up thinner finish. Or stage one aging is just really lightly. You can see a little yeah, bit of. There's, it looks like it's. It has a really vintage look to it. It, it does. looks like it's been hanging on a wall yep. for forty years. But it doesn't look like it's beat up. You no, know, no, some no, people no. Don't like there's the aging. some light rippling yeah. in the in the finish and whatnot. It it looks beautiful. This is in amber tone, so mm -hmm. these come in natural and amber tone, um, available only to custom shop expert dealers, and. Ah, this is exciting. So we've been waiting. You know, in the in the regular 1937 authentic D28 and the D18 that, we, that we've that we been mm -hmm. selling for quite a while now, I always wished for a triple O, and here it is. So uh, people have been asking. People want this. It's a great guitar. On this new series, these are Indian Rosewood. Um, so the, you know, kind of keeps the price down. A lot of them in the other series are Madagascar Rosewood Which back is, and sides. A step up. It's a little bit more expensive. Closer it's to closer Brazilian. to Brazilian rosewood, right. but Indian still in general is still mm. well, yeah, the go-to. I mean, I mean I it's it. still. That's so, do you have any? I don't mean to put you on the yeah. spot, but do you have any background on? Was there? I don't know anything about the Triple O. Was this even okay, around so in the '30s, or is there a particular year? Yeah, yeah. That it was, uh, okay. You know, I don't know the exact year this came out. I should know that. That's all right. We can but go back is, and we'll fill it in. My head's full of you know <laughs> no too worries. many guitar specs as no it worries. is. But I'll tell you, I believe the OM was the, was originally before the Triple O, like 1930-ish. Then that OM was a long scale. So as we we've talked about, you know, from the saddle to the nut, there, you know, this this scale length 24.9, uh, the OM is 25.4. Um, so the OM eventually, I think, became a shorter scale. Right. There's been it's kind of confusing because there's been different nut widths over the times too. Yeah. One eleven sixteenths generally on a on a triple O, one and three quarter on an OM, but there's it's it's gone both ways. Um, so this is a short scale. Triple O twenty eight is a short scale guitar. An OM is a long scale guitar, but they're the same guitar. Yeah. Same body. I guess, you know, for me it's I I'm sure there are players that maybe like the long scale. Yeah. But I always love feeling more compact. So yeah. but um, you know, whatever yeah. works for whatever. Yeah. But your dreadnought's a long scale. Okay, so there yeah. you go. That's the situation where I like totally. a long scale. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing so it plays like a dream and I love the sound because it's uh, you know, you tend to think of uh, the thinner bodies and yeah. this this uh, this guitar's shape and style as not being particularly loud, but, but and it's not going to have the depth. It's not going to have the low end, but right. there is some. Yeah. There's enough, especially if you're a finger style player. It's super comfortable. And that's why you're going to buy it. Triple O or no one, you're not. You don't want the big dreadnought. That's you don't the, want a yeah. boomy thing. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be very crisp throughout. But that's got some. Martin, Triple O, 28, custom, authentic, aged. Yeah, super uh, sweet. New from Martin, uh, beautiful sunburst finish. I love it's, it. The, you know, the hardest part about sitting in this chair is always realizing there's not enough money to, or <laughs> space in my house for every guitar That's, I want. Well, uh, it is tough. It's tough. There's a lot of guitars <laughs> that come through here. And this is what I say. Whoever gets this one is going to be thrilled with it. It plays very nice, and it just sounds beautiful, and it looks amazing. Again, I'm not much for aesthetics. Yeah. It really doesn't matter to me as much as it yeah. sounds, but it sound, check. Yeah. But the aesthetics the are very tone, cool. Yeah. It's the, the Ambertone finish, along with it being slightly aged, it's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It looks authentic. It it's sounds authentic. Package. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Right awesome. On. Quentin, appreciate it. You we'll, bet. Uh, Go out and... 
clean the cleaner windshields, clean some snow off the windshields. I know it's snowing. Sorry, you know, I, I all I can think about is the snow outside <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Yeah. That's Montana for you. There Thanks you everyone for watching. Thanks.